Hey everybody, this is Josh, Broken Ogre Farm. Uh, well, we're out here today working on the fields again. Um, you might be able to hear the tractor behind me. My daughter's out there disking the field that I piled up. Uh, you can see that the clover has gone mad. There's a ton of crimson clover out through here and some other grassy stuff. So, um, we're gonna be planting a mix from a company that I've met at the Dixie Deer Classic. We're going to be planting a mix of seeds that I got from a company at the Dixie Deer Classics, their spring mix. It's a mixture of like soybeans and sunflower and a couple, some other seeds, probably clover or something. I don't know. I'll, I'll go look at it in a second. We'll do it. Where are you going? Why do you keep twisting? Anyway. Ugh. Anyway, got a bag of seed from a company at Dixie Deer Classic. I'm going to plant that. I'm going to try and plant some corn. Um, and we're going to try and plant some brown top millet. Don't know how well that's going to go, considering the, uh, the gra length of grass down there. It has gotten ridiculous. Um, so we'll see how that goes in a minute. I'm actually having to walk back because the corn planter fell out of the back of my truck while I was driving down here. So I'll go get that, go back to the field. We'll do a cut to that so you guys don't have to wait around watching me be a slow old guy walking back to the get the planter and be out of breath. You're like, <sighs> man, man. anyway, y'all have fun. Talk to you in a minute. All right, everybody, back. Uh, I can hear my daughter running on the tractor being loud like normal. Uh, so I got the corn planter. You saw me put that together in another video. So what I have today, I have uh, this mix here called the Buck Wild Forage Blend from FoggyBuckOutdoors.com here in North Carolina. Uh, it has soybean, buckwheat, sunflower seed, sorghum, eh, stuff. It doesn't matter, weed seed, other. Anyway, but so pretty much soybean, buckwheat, uh, and soybean, buckwheat, and sunflowers. Uh, and then I have some old corn seed, not old, but um, Silver Queen, I guess. It may or may not do well, but I have it. It's cheap. I'm going to chuck it out here uh, in some rows and see how it does. I'm also going to put a little bit in my garden. We'll see how it fits. Um, I also have a bunch of brown top millet. I have 25 pounds of that. I am not going to be putting that much out. It's where my daughter's cutting the field or disking that field where all the grass is. I doubt it's going to disc down very well. We should probably push all get, but we'll put a bunch of passes see if it'll disc down see if we can put some another down there we'll put a little on this field go from there so have fun watching me walk around sorry for the noise so that seems to be dropping all right I have the drop spreader I'll do a few passes It'll probably murder me and I'll die so Pray for me. Anyway, uh, see how it goes and see how much I can get out there. It's not a ton, but it'll be a few passes. Well, we'll go with that for now. So. I guess. I had to adjust the output. 
There's plenty of sunflower seeds, there's plenty of everything. Uh, so I'm gonna put some millet down to this side of the field, like I said. Let's see if I can get a few rows of that, and then we'll get a few rows of corn. And, well, we'll cover it all up, drag it smooth, and then I'll try and do corn. I don't know why I'm pointing my fingers everywhere. Yeah, I think we're kind of going to be out of luck right on that side of the field. I'll show you in a minute. So last year when we tried to put millet down, we put too much down in the same spot. And it ended up crowding itself out. So we're just going to go with one pass per side. Well, that was five pounds of millet, which is again about right. So, uh, get Maddie up here, we'll hook the drag up and drag the field, go from there. See you in a sec. So, as you can see, we have employed an amazingly technical device uh, consisting of a couple of cinder blocks, an old gate. I got from my stepmother uh, a 2x4 wire wrapped around it and a logging chain. Uh, the, the disc is just touching the ground and that's just dragging. So we'll see how it drags. It should be covering up the seed. We'll look in a minute. I can look now, I guess. It's doing a pretty good job. I mean, for my level of incompetence, I'm pretty happy with it. That she's trying to just trying to get it to touch the ground and drive all over the place apparently. Anyway, she's gonna do the whole field. I'll let it do it. Hopefully it'll be nice and smooth so I can run the corn planter because that thing will probably murder me even worse than the drop starter, which I understand is not the best solution here, but um, it's what I have. I don't have a smaller vehicle that's capable of dealing with the, the ground right now. Um, hopefully that'll be shortly. Well, the field's done. Uh, as you can see, my daughter did an awesome job. It's fairly smooth. Um, I'm going to run up and down it a few times. Um, so, like I said, daughter did a really good job. She's learning the tractor. She didn't get up here as much as she'd like or I'd like. But, She's a very competent young lady, so if I give her a task, she'll figure it out. And uh, the gate drag does a pretty good job. So we'll see how this corn push, corn seeder does. Uh, I probably should have left her stay down here so, he, so when I die, she can drag me off with the tractor. But... That's four theoretical rows of corn. So 
Now I'm going to take my little broadcast rudder, test carry, and put the millet in the terrible piece of grass over there, just because. Well, I can't, it's my property, you can't tell me what to do. I think I'll mix in some of this uh, other stuff as well. Here, I'll move you all over here so you can watch me suffer through this bit. Anyway, uh, I have to use my tube. I got about a little chest spreader, monkey grinder thing, you know. Just turn it on, hold it on, get it There you go, chucking seeds. About 50% millet, 50% that uh, ear mix I got from this ear class. It's camera boots. Brand name. I will put a link in the description for it. Um, hopefully it'll grow. I mean, I, I am incompetent, so don't blame it if it's my, if it doesn't. It's my, it's my. So I'm just gonna do a pass up a bat. <laughs> That's all there is to that today. So. for that, that little maneuver there, but we'll go with what we got. Anyway, so, I know I've probably done this all sorts of jacked up. I am kind of happy with the way my daughter did the field. It looks really nice. She, learned, she started handling the tractor very well. It's amazing. The corn uh, planter, beyond the fact there's a lot of grass clumps that I kept getting hung up on, but when it was working, it was putting it at the right depth, dropping a couple seeds going on. So I'm happy with that. I got four rows of corn in, four rows of millet, four rows of that mix from, hold on. By the way, they are not a sponsor. I'm just what I'm using. Uh, Buck Wild Forage Blend from FoggyBuckOutdoors.com. Again, we'll put a link in the description. Assuming I remember it. I've said it three times. Foggy Buck Outdoors.com. Foggy Buck Bottom. Oh, I said bottom. I don't know why I don't say Foggy Buck. Anyway, Foggy Buck Outdoors.com for all of your seed needs. Okay. Anyway, thanks for watching. I know I'm an idiot. I know this is probably not going to work most well, but most well. Any, any well, kind of well, anywhere else. Round well. Anyway, heat must be getting to me. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. Talk to you next time.